I, I have the uh, I have the honor this year of handing out lots of things. So um, you know me. I'm Jeff Hittinger. I just told you about cupcakes and things. Um, I also, in my spare time, uh, had the privilege this year of serving as the chair for the Howe Scholar Award Committee. The Frederick A. Howe Scholar Computational Science Award was established in remembrance of the late Frederick Anthony Howe, who managed the Department of Energy's Applied Mathematical Sciences program during the 1990s. In particular, uh, he was the program manager for the DOE CSGF program. Dr. Howe championed the emerging field of computational science and was a fierce advocate for this program, which would not have survived without his energy and dedication, and that's, that's not an exaggeration. Uh, in addition, he was widely respected as a committed public servant and a person of the highest integrity. Unfortunately, uh, I did not get to know Dr. Howes. Um, I was just starting my career at that time when he passed away. But I know that I, as well as all the alumni of this program, the fellows of this program, and indeed the entire computational science community really are indebted to him and have benefited from his passion and vision. To honor Dr. Howe's memory and his commitment to the DOE CSGF program, each year we select one or two alumni to, uh, as a, a Howe Scholar. The award is bestowed upon a recent graduate of the program who has shown outstanding leadership and character as demonstrated by the impact of his or her uh, on his or her community, in addition to exceptional technical achievement in the field of computational science. I'm very pleased uh, that this year I have the honor of awarding two Frederick A. Howe Scholars in Computational Science, Aurora Prebram Jones and Alexander Ratner. You can applaud. Thank you. <laughs> so, so I'll ask them to come up as I read the actual citations, and I'm going to have to read. So, all right. Aurora Prebram Jones earned her PhD in theoretical chemistry from the University of California, Irvine in 2015. She is now both a Lawrence Fellow at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and a University of California Presidential Fellow at UC Berkeley. Aurora's research has made important contributions to theoretical condensed matter physics and computational science. Notably, she has been recognized for her broad interdisciplinary background, her talent for engaging many different scientific communities in her research, and her ability to think logically and deeply about fundamental issues in density functional theory. Specifically, her work is focused on expanding the foundations of time-dependent density functional theory to warm, dense matter. In this work, she successfully used aspects of physical chemistry, material science, quantum mechanics, and functional analysis to develop the foundational step for new methodology in density functional theory. Complementing her scientific excellence, Aurora has an exceptional record of outreach and leadership. Aurora overcame significant personal challenges to become a successful student at Harvey Mudd College and then University of California at Irvine, and has repeatedly demonstrated a strong desire to help others. At UC Irvine, she put in tremendous effort to help students with math deficiencies and provided lectures on quantum mechanics to other graduate students. Her volunteer work, helping to organize and run workshops to assist incoming graduate students in their applications for NSF fellowships went far beyond the basic premise of that program by helping those students from underrepresented communities adjust to and become comfortable in an academic culture that many of them found foreign. For her contributions to this program, Aurora was awarded the prestigious UCI Alumni Association's Laws and Laurels Award for Outstanding Graduate Student in 2015. Aurora's demonstrated excellence in research, leadership, and outreach in the computational science community exemplifies the qualities that Fred Howes encouraged in all young scientists. She serves as a role model to her peers, an advocate for underrepresented communities within science, and a committed advocate for the field of computational science. So, so. I think we have to So I'll, I'll note that as an award, uh, each of the scholars receives a, a monetary award and also a nice gift from Tiffany's that commemorates this, this achievement. Now for Alexander. Alexander Ratner earned his PhD in mechanical engineering from the George W. Woodruff School of Mechanical Engineering at the George Institute of Technology in 2015. He currently is an ass assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical and Nuclear Engineering at Penn State University. Alexander's research spans an impressively broad range of topics related to modeling and design of sustainable thermal systems. His contributions include modeling the magnitude of waste heat available over various temperature ranges tagged by geography, design of particularly efficient heat pumps, and development of a new highly paralyzable framework for simulating phase change heat transfer in multiple flows, multi-phase flows. 
A particularly notable feature of Alexander's research is his ability to combine experimental and computational techniques to understand complex energy systems. Alexander is able to switch between the laboratory experiments and computer simulations to create a truly interdisciplinary approach that addresses difficult questions in sustainable energy, which are immensely important to today's society. The analytical and computational models and software Alexander has developed along with his experimental designs have the potential to revolutionize energy utilization and significantly reduce energy waste. In addition to his impressive research record, Alexander has also proven himself to be a committed educator and leader. He taught middle and high school students in Philadelphia about sustainability and engineering and organized mini courses for students at Georgia Tech to improve their computational skills. Alexander enriched the education of inner city kids in Atlanta as a teaching fellow through the NSF Discovery Research K-12 program. Recognizing the importance of interdisciplinary research, he organized sessions for faculty and researchers from a variety of disciplines to discuss their experiences with student groups at Georgia Tech. Alexander served as a mentor to high school, undergraduate, and graduate students and clearly demonstrated his ability to help them pursue their educational and career goals. He has also contributed to the scientific community as a whole by the development of open source software, such as a highly optimized code for the evaluation of thermodynamic properties of chemical mixtures, a visualization tool for simulation data sets, which enables intuitive exploration and presentation of complex results, and the framework for simulating multi-phase flows. Alexander's demonstrated excellence in research and leadership exemplifies the qualities Fred Howes encouraged in all young scientists. Alexander serves as a role model to his peers and is a tireless communicator and advocate for the field of computational science. So congratulations, Alexander. <laughs>